The rules can't be that strict. Decided to go outside before 10 o'clock today. You know, change it up a little bit. In yesterday's vlog, I mentioned that I haven't ran like at all this week. And it's starting to hit me now. Like I really want to go on a run, but I know that it's probably better for my hip just to just to rest a little bit more. Nothing's like severely injured or anything. I just had some pain that was like kind of irritating me. So I figured I would take a week off just to be safe. Devanna and I are traveling out of town this weekend for work. One of my favorite things is to run in like new cities that I haven't been in. It's a great way to explore the city. I told myself that's when I would run again. So I got like two more days. I do like a good garage sale. And it said huge, so. If I had to guess, that's the garage sale right there. Good morning. Hello. How are you? Doing good, how are you? I'll have yeah. to check it out. Yeah, I think I put up about 12 or 15. Well, thank you, it was great right. talking to you. You too. I didn't really see anything I liked, but what a nice guy. I love that. You know, I saw this and I thought it was a like some cool historic like shack thing. It's not. Just a regular shack. Driving down, driving down these uh, these roads, back roads in Tennessee, you have to be careful. Just because, just because a lot of the drivers don't really know what to do when they see a skateboard or a bike, let alone a motorized skateboard and or bike. So I found it's best just to be like, just command the road, like let them know what you're gonna do and just, yeah. You know, I might have to do more of these morning skateboard rides. It's just so tranquil and peaceful. All right, I'm gonna have to get out of here. I, uh, I somehow stumbled upon a fairly popular kids camp chain. The amount of no trespassing signs around here is, uh, I should get out of here. So I'm um, editing what I just shot. This is actually this vlog. I haven't been able to do this since I switched to 4K. It's great. Also, I've been on a friend's kick. It really is just the best show. Do you have that stuff on that drive that I can edit stuff on? Thank you. Love you. Working on wedding videos today. Trying to get a uh, trying to get some work done on these these wedding films. Stay ahead of the curve. Also, that whole shop was a uh, on this tripod right there. Not the most secure, but I think the shot looks cool. All right, since I can't seem to focus, I, uh, I figured I would answer I would answer a couple of uh, of questions. This lighting okay? It's kind of dramatic. Don't ever give up. I'm assuming you're referring to making videos and uh, I won't. Thanks for the, uh, the nice comment. I appreciate that. I always appreciate when people are nice on the internet. The ratio of niceness to meanness is, is, isn't even. So I appreciate it. The doubles alternate from hands to feet, kind of anyway. Yeah, kind of. Uh, that, that specific sticking pattern, I do a lot. Uh, that was inspired from a hand and foot combination that I had to learn as a kid and I just told myself I would never ever use it. And it just randomly started coming out in my plane. So, uh, so short answer, yes. Does the R6 record the sound in 120? 
I know it has autofocus, but does it do sound as well? No, it doesn't do do sound. The Sony A7S III does sound, but the R6 doesn't. No, it does. It does incredible slow mo, but it doesn't record any sound. That was honestly one of the reasons we switched from the R6 to the A7S III. One of the many reasons, but it no. Short answer. 100% agree with you. I have a full drive. It is sad. So if you don't know what he's referring to, I made a video talking about if, shirt, if churches should pay musicians or honor musicians in a specific way. Just going beyond musicians and just going as like the body of Christ or just people in general, it's a shame that not every church honors the way they should. If you're curious to hear my thoughts on the whole subject, I'll link that video somewhere up here so you can check it out. Outstanding, the song was added to the morning set list. That's amazing, I love that. My whole, the whole idea of me putting like drum videos up is so that hopefully if, if you're ever in a position where you hear a song and you don't really know what to play, then hopefully you can refer to my videos to get some kind of inspiration or just a different take on, on it. So thank you. I'm, I'm glad it worked out for you. I hope, uh, I hope it helped. Beautiful job and great stick recovery. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. In this video, uh, I had dropped a stick and I had to recover, so <laughs> thank you. Awesome, man. Question, where do you get your audio from? So for this, I actually didn't use an iRig. The church this is at uses a live stream setup, and that live stream setup is done through Pro Tools, so they record everything. And I was able to just snag those audio files and mix it myself after the fact. At the 636 mark, it looks like your floor tom is a size 14 inch floor. No, that's, so this is my personal kit. It's my 60s Ludwig kit and the sizes for toms are 13 inch up top and then a 16 inch on the bottom. No 14. Um, I think I'm going to end on this, this comment right here. It seems like an awesome ride, man. Thanks for sharing. I don't know if you've played Heartbeat Symbols, but if so, which ones do you think sound similar to your Constantinople? My budget is very tight. Thanks in advance, man. So I have played uh, Heartbeats many times, actually. So when I was playing at Elevation, they had an endorsement with Heartbeat, and I really, really tried to jump on the Heartbeat train. I always ended up sticking with my Zildjans, and there's a couple reasons why. For me, when I'm looking for cymbals, I want, I want two things. I want something that sounds big and full, and I want something that blends well with the mix. And my, my Zildjans do that incredibly well. The the only the, the issue that I always had with Heartbeats was they they sit really well in a mix. Like they're they're very very kind to sound guys because no matter how hard you wail on them, they uh, they don't ever like poke out too much. So so for sitting in a mix well, they're amazing. The issue is getting them to sound big and full. And the problem isn't the size or, or anything else, it's the sustain. The sustain with Zildjian's always felt just right for me. It wasn't too long and it wasn't too short. And Heartbeats always felt a little short to me. I feel like when I would crash, they would decay so quickly that there wasn't enough there to give me enough body to make the drum sound big. They do make an incredible product and it is super affordable and I'm not knocking it whatsoever. Just for me and my style of playing, they never it was never really a good fit. Zildjian always felt like it fit better. That's that's basically it. I mean, I also know like other drummers that swear by heartbeat and they sound great. So uh, whenever you have the cymbal debate, I feel like it's comparing apples to oranges because it's gonna be different for every single drummer and every single musical situation. I hope that helped. <laughs>